Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Degeki. I'm going to be showing you guys some essential stuff for Ghost of Tabor today. Uh, we're going to be going over basically just the basic fundamentals of the game. So then that way, when you guys hop in for your first time, uh, you guys know what you need to be doing. Um, so first things first, we're going to talk about the tablet right here. This is where you're going to go to add your friends, deploy to the map, all that kind of stuff. So right now, currently, there's only two maps, Missile and Island. Missile is more like a smaller PvP map that's uh, easy to learn the combat and movement uh, more effectively. Island of Tabor is more of a larger scale map with more double the amount of players, a longer raid time, and a lot more loot and a lot more AI. If you're new to the game, I personally would recommend going to Island just to get the feel for the game. But if you're already comfortable in VR and uh, VR shooters, uh, I definitely would recommend going into Missile Silo and just getting your feet wet with the PvP. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll go to the contract board. So this is where you go to get all your missions. Um, you can also check your trader levels. Um, you know, you have to uh, uh, up your reputation and spend money like Tarkov. Um, once you get it high enough, you'll go to the next level. I believe the max level for traders right now is only five. It, poss it could be six, but I'm almost positive it's just five. Um, you have your missions in here. You can turn them in here. You can go to each faction. Um, each faction, these guys sell different things. Uh, heels, guns, um, ammo crafting materials, armor, you know, all sorts of random stuff. Food and ammo crafting. Um, more ammo crafting, other stuff. And higher end uh, gear is Merchant of Death. Um, so you will, however, though, like for Minty, you'll get quests like collect five primary ammo pouch, collect the Alton face mask. So when you get these items... It won't let you come in here and say turn in. It won't be that's 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 not how you finish the quest. I'm gonna show you right now. When you get these retrieval quests, this is how you're gonna turn them in. You're gonna go into your trade room. And what you're gonna do is any item, let's say you need five primary ammo pouches. So we'll take that quest. I'll go in here, I'll buy five of them. One, it's going to take a second. Actually, let's just buy two. So I can just show you. So we'll buy these two. We'll take them. And then what you'll do, you'll drop them on the conveyor belt. Once they go through, you're going to click turn in. You're going to turn in both. And then once you click turn in, I'll ask you which trader you want to turn it into. So it sees that I turned those in and this is for Minty. So you just turn those in. Once you turn all of those in, all five and you actually complete the quest you're not done yet you have to come back to this tablet go to trader progress or i'm sorry current missions and instead of it saying cancel you'll see it'll say turn in and that's how you turn in those quests so now real quick let's go into the armory um and i'll show you guys how the armory works so in the armory you have your backpack holders up on the wall right here um you have all this shelving wherever you see these outlines of uh these little things this is where all your items can be stored in your hideout and not disappear and despawn so as long as you have your items on this table and um they're not red they're like this color let me see if i can get something to go red so you see how this is kind of like turning or orange i'm sorry when it's orange like that and it stays orange and it's on the table that means it's not going to stay there it's not in a safe spot so you need to remove it and just put it back down again until it's not orange. Once it's not orange, everything will stay. Um, we also have the lockers. Um, these will hold all your armor. Oops. Ah! So you got your armor in here. You put your helmets up top. Um, like I said, there's bag racks. There's one right there. And if you come in this room... There's all of these right here, and there's also more weapon storage, more weapon storage, and more lockers. So this is where you're going to keep a majority of your gear. Um, now, the thing about the gun wall is the gun wall can be extremely buggy at times. 
Now, you guys are going to notice when you play this game, you're going to run into a lot of bugs. Like it says when you load up the game, this is an early access build, so it's going to have problems. But almost every single bug in this game, there's a way to either avoid that bug or you'll have the ability to fix that bug very quickly. Um, now, with the walls, sometimes you'll put it up. See, like right now, sometimes it just doesn't, it's not pulling it up. But now it does. See, like that? So sometimes what will happen is you'll put your gun up on the wall, and no matter what you do, it won't pull the line up for you to put it on there. See, like right now, it's doing it. So what you want to do is you want to put it on your holster, bring it back out, and try again. If that doesn't work, switch hands. Most of the time, switching hands works. Um, if switching your hands doesn't work, try putting it on a different place on the wall or put it in the back room. Um, now, there is a bug where when you put stuff on the wall, as soon as you let go, when it's lined up, it'll disappear. Now, they figured that out a while ago, and they have a fix for it. So, whenever you have a gun that you put on this wall, and it disappears and goes behind the wall, the first thing you need to do is come outside. And between these two pillars right here... Every single gun that spawns behind that wall will instantly spawn on the floor right here. Now, it's, it's not a permanent fix. It's not a great fix. But, you know, at least as soon as you lose that shit, you get it right back. And it'll spawn right here on the floor. You just come out here, pick it up, try again. So this is your armory. Uh, one thing I didn't go over is the drawers and the ammo machines. So I do want to go over the drawers real quick. Um, I, now in the alpha, these were really bugged out. Um, you would put stuff in here, and as soon as you would close it and open it back up, everything was gone. Now I haven't tested this yet. I'm going to have to give it another test later. Um, but people are saying it works just as long as you close it slow and don't jerk stuff around. Because as you close it, if you close it really fast, all the stuff in the drawer will like shake around, and if it goes out of the bounds in the drawer, which apparently it has been happening, uh, the items will despawn. So I would just say for now, just avoid the drawers until you absolutely need to use them, uh, or until they say that they fixed it. Um, so now, this is the ammo machine. This is the ammo machine. This is where you're going to craft all your ammo, and this is your mag loader. So I'll show you guys right now how to use this. Um. Uh, all right, all my brass is in there. So when you start the game, um, when you're in your trade room, everyone gets a set amount of gear. You go up to this tablet right here, and you should have like a huge list of items. Now, um, it's a lot of items. It's a lot of items. I would definitely recommend sitting here, going through everything, organizing it, putting it away, uh, you know, appropriately. That way, later down the line. You don't have to reorganize everything and regret the fact that you didn't take the time to sit here and organize everything because that will happen, I promise you. So make sure you organize everything, put it where it needs to go. You have shelves in here you can use. You have your armory with the armory in the back of it as well. And then you also have this storage as well, which is your food pantry. So, you know, you could put other stuff in here, obviously, but, uh, you know, it's, it's the food pantry. Um... So we've gone over the armory, uh, trade room. We haven't really gone over too much. Uh, you know, it's pretty similar to the armory. The only difference is, is this is where you come to uh, receive all the gear that you bought from the market. You have a gun wall right there. Um, this gun wall is where everything populates that you bought. You know, you've got your conveyor belt where you can sell stuff and you've got your storage right here. Now, I'll go over this in a minute. I'm just going to point it out. But this is where you're going to go to buy your custom stuff. So you can have a favorites list. And I'm going to go over that here in a couple minutes. Um, let's see what else. So, yes. Yeah, so, key cards. There are key cards in this game. Uh, you might have noticed at the doors I walked through, they're all green. Um, but you will also notice that there's a color by the door. So, this door took the red key card. You know. Take the red key card, stick it in there. It should come pre-opened already. But the key cards, uh, there are key cards in the raids, like doors that need to be opened with them. Uh, I believe that Silo 
on the third floor has a room that you need purple key card to get into, which you have to find purple key card in raid. You do not spawn with it on your table. Now these should spawn every time you come back from a raid. These should all come back. So the as I know of right now, red and I believe it's either blue or white are keys that you use in raid to open locked rooms. So you can just keep bringing them in with you every time you go into Island or every time you go into Missile, except for the purple key card. The purple key card that you need for the high value loot rooms, those are single use, and if you die with it, you die with it. You'll, you won't get it back unless you find it again. <clears throat> Alright, now we have the radio room. This is going to be your Bitcoin farm. Uh, someone told me earlier that they put a GPU in their slot and it just disappeared. So if you're able to extract with your GPUs, for now, I would hold on to them just in case until they say that the GPU farm or the Bitcoin farm is working. Um, maintenance. More storage. Uh, so yeah, this is more storage. Apparently, this is supposed to be where you're going to be able to craft your own homemade guns. Uh, I haven't heard anything about that yet, but uh, that's what some OGs told me. Um, so right now what we'll do is we'll go into the market. I'm going to go into the market. I'm going to show you guys a couple tricks that you can do in there. Um, some essential items, etc. So we'll hop over there right now. All right. So there's two sides to the market. You're going to spawn in this little doorway. Uh, a majority of the stuff that you're going to need is going to be all over here. The stuff in here. These guys, the stuff that they sell, you're able to get all the stuff that they sell in this room. So there's no point at the moment for you to go in here. What I highly recommend for new players to do after you're finished organizing all your stuff is come to the market and decide what map you're going to start running. Um, once you do that, I highly recommend starting out with the SKS. It's a great gun. It's super cheap and you will drop teams with this thing. So what you're going to do, you're going to pull out your little handy dandy little scanner. You're going to scan it. All right, let's go back. Magazine, assault rifle. And what we're going to do is we're going to scan the SKS mag. Now, we're going to go to checkout. Now you see we have the two items, the SKS and the custom SKS mag that comes with bullets in it. What you're going to do is for the items that you want to be able to quickly buy is you're going to want to click the stars this is that favorite uh menu thing so everything that you star will go into your favorites menu in your hideout now another thing you can do and you can do this with guns too um is you can take a base item so let's do this we'll grab a uh, chest rig um we will grab the jpc2 armor modules and then we'll take let's do a primary ammo module so you can take this primary ammo module stick it on your rig and then let's say you want you know a grenade pouch oh that's right you can only hold two on here on certain vests they can hold only two slots certain some vests can hold three some can hold four some can hold the slicks they can hold six slots so it just depends on what you have but so what I'm doing is I'm pre-putting my utility pouches on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan the item with all the stuff on it. So like I said, you can do this with guns too. So you can go and pick out your favorite gun, put all your favorite attachments on it, build it exactly the way you want. Take your gun and you're going to scan it. Once you scan it, you go to checkout and you'll see it'll say custom item. And you can open it and it comes with the primary ammo module, like with the guns that come with the attachments. You just star it and then it'll be favorited and then you'll be able to quickly buy it in your hideout. So then that way, every time you come out of a raid, you don't have to come here, rebuy everything, go back to the hideout, go to the trade room, receive everything and, and all that nonsense. So make sure that you come through every trader. You've got your Merchant of Death. You're not going to be able to use him at first. You have Spectre, which is where you get all your guns, attachments, ammo, etc. Um, Minty Tactical, armor, etc. And then you've got Tabor, the hospital, heals, obviously, food and drinks as well, which you're going to need for the big map. Um, the heals in this game are called Nerds. 
and the way you use the nerds is you take the nerd it actually has a diagram on the thingy you take the nerd stick it in your arm tap the top and then you'll feel your controller start to vibrate and that's how you start healing you can heal up to i want to say around 40 hp per stem 40 to 50 i think maybe a little bit less um this is sheer ammunition so definitely come here ammo crafting you want to scan the brass pile and the powder fmj go to check out favorite both of those those are essential eventually you will unlock the brass jar um you're going to want to remove the brass pile once you unlock the brass jar because the brass jar you know it's a jar of brass and it has way more than just one you just take the lid off and you can pour it in your thing and it's way more effective um all right so then what we'll do is we'll go over some bind uh tips on how to like specifically remove certain pieces of gear from your body i know that a lot of people have issues with this and this is a very very uh common question that people ask so real quick real quick i'm gonna throw a whole whole kit on just armor no gun um all right so here's my gear tech this is my back fight all right so real quick this is the key to being able to only remove your armor and only remove your bag, only remove your helmet and not mess with anything you don't want to mess with, like pulling your gun while trying to do stuff. So specifically for removing your helmet, you want to take your hand, put it on your head, obviously use your grip and your trigger. That'll pull it off. Okay. Easy. Now with your vest, this is where everyone gets everything mixed up. So if you were just trying to remove your vest, you can put it up to your chest. Hold grip and trigger. That'll remove your vest, okay? Now, if you're not careful, if you have pouches on your thing, when you hold it, like, in, by the pouches, it'll grab the mag in the pouch or it'll grab the pouch. So, ideally, what you want to do is you will hold it up by, like, you know, your pec or your collarbone and then hold them. And then that way, it'll grab it by the strap instead of the actual front plate. Now, to remove just your backpack, this is where everyone gets it messed up, you're going to do the same thing. Um, you're going to hold it by your pec or your collarbone. And you're just going to hold the grip. Just hold your grip. Now, there is, there was a problem, not is, I don't know if it's still a problem. I haven't really tested it yet. There was a problem where if you had a gun in your hand and you went to try and grab your backpack, it would pull your armor off instead. So you would have your gun on and you'll pull your armor off. Even though you're holding your bottom grip, it'll pull your armor. So you'd have to drop your armor and then take your bag off. I don't know if that's still the case. Like I said, I haven't tested it. I can test it right here. I just don't want to right now. Um, so just keep that in mind. Just always try and keep a hand free. Put your bag out. You know, if you, if you don't have pouches on your rig and you're trying to hurry and quickly, like, grab a mag from your bag, the best thing I've, I've done is, you know, just whatever gun you're using, you're trying to get a new mag for, just drop the mag, put it on your hip, grab your bag, pull the mag out, put it back on, bang, you're good to go. You get it really quick. Um... So we've gone over this room, trading room, the tablets. Oh, also another thing, um, your backpacks. Anything that you guys put in your backpacks will stay in there as long as you um, hang it up. So you guys can fill your backpacks up and just throw them on here. Um, oh, another, yes, we didn't go over this. Okay, so ammo. This is how you craft ammo, okay? So those brass, can the brass cans and the brass uh, piles that I was showing you guys, you're going to dump them in this slot the brass and then what you're gonna do is for the powder you know you have your gunpowder you grab it use your top trigger on your other controller to take the lid off and then you just pour it in there pour it in there until it's all the way empty whatever you put in here if you don't use all the materials it will stay so don't worry about that let's see uh, I'll do SKS okay so the way that this works is you have your caliber type at the top, ammo type in the middle, and the amount of boxes that you want, and the required materials. So as of right now, you guys are only going to be able to craft uh, FMJ standard ammo until you either get tracer uh, gunpowder or you get uh, armor piercing gunpowder or you unlock the ability to buy it. So what you do to find the ammo or to make the ammo that you want is you just start scrolling through so i need 762 by 39 for my sks i just need one box so 
I have my quantity on one, standard, 762 by 39. I have the materials in here. You can see it on the gauges. I have enough brass. I have enough FMJ powder. I only need one and five. So, once you're ready, all you do, grab the lever, pull it down, it'll dump out a box of ammo. You grab the box, you can open the box all the way or slightly, okay? Now this is, is a good little trick, because another thing you can do... Let me grab the gun. Because another thing you can do, a little trick that I learned with these mag boxes, is... Originally what I was doing was I was doing this one by one like this imagine doing this with drum mags, right? I found out You can open the box to your liking. Let's say uh, I only need like a couple bullets That'll be good enough hold it over and then with the same controller that you're holding the box with you're gonna hold the top trigger And it dumps all the bullets in there Repack the mag finish loading. Ooh, that was completely empty. Alright, so you guys see how we have 19 bullets still left in there? You're like, oh, whoa, whoa, how do I get my ammo from out of there? Keep the box. Always keep the box, at least one, until you're done with that whole box and all the ammo's gone, just in case you need to refill it. So what you do, close the box, put it in there, bang, now your ammo's back in here. So now what you can do, put it on your shelf. And essentially, these are the basic functions and features of Ghost of Tabor. All this stuff is very essential to know. Um, I feel like this will help you guys a lot, especially all the new players, because this game can be very intimidating at first. Uh, another thing I'd recommend too, I, I haven't tried this myself yet, but for very new players, maybe try training mode. Go into a raid, go into training mode, just go fight some bots. Um... You know, make sure that you go to the market and and favorite uh, basic gear. Make sure you have a helmet favorited, a chest plate favorited, a backpack favorited, a gun favorited, ammo favorited. You know, just basic essentials. So when you get out or if you die, you can hurry and re-kit in here, receive yourself, throw it on, go to the tablet and re-queue. Um, guns have safeties. When you get new guns, you have to put the mag in and chamber around and turn the safety off with your a button so make sure you guys do that too but yeah guys enjoy enjoy uh ghost of tabor this is a fucking amazing game has a lot of potential yes it's buggy yes it's beta yes it's 12 devs just remember that this is early every game has problems and that this is going to be an even greater game than it already is like people forget to to like point out the fact that yes this game is buggy but the game is so good and so fun and so entertaining and so interesting that you can look past that stuff because you have so much fun so just try not to let the the bugs and the issues get to you if any kind of bugs or issues do get to you make sure you go into discord and post the issue in the discord so they know about it if they don't already and they can fix it um you know this is a project that these guys are making but you know the whole community is also helping improve so just sitting here bitching about problems isn't gonna make the, the game any better guys we all have to contribute if you actually care about this game like these people actually care about this game and we should too you know we're spending money on playing this you guys should be willing to help too as well you know you want this game to be better you should do that for the for the developers to help everybody but uh, thank you guys. Thank you everybody for watching. You know, if you made it this far, you know, good luck to you. I hope I gave you guys all the information you need to be able to go out there successfully and have fun. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I hope that I can help you.